Okay, today we're talking about breakaways. Um, first of all, in everything we do, I want you to put this in your head because I got this in my head. Alright? And I told you this. I know I'm playing a lot. Okay? I need to be inside ready at the top of my crease once that play ends. Alright? So if they came in at me and it was a breakaway situation, I can work on screen square the puck. I can know where it was at on the value. But if you're sitting back like this, and next thing you know, they get a, whatever happens, and you're coming out at the place going hard at you, that's when you're going to get yourself in trouble. So you need to get out and get set early on the pump. So for me, I'd be out here, I'm waiting. Let's say a quick turnover happens, your defenseman turns over the puck, right? All of a sudden it's a breakaway, or your defenseman loses the puck, whatever, right? So now, I'm going to break that, I'm out, I'm set, before he comes at me. So that was probably the problem, right? So from here, now I can use that glide back and work on the breakaway. So when we do breakaways today, two things I say over and over again. They're words, but you got to practice. One is your timing coming back. Do you know how many times a player, how many times a player comes in, and this is my pet peeve, all right? And he comes in the deep, and usually they shoot the buck right in this area, right? right? So a player comes in, comes in here, he's on a play for you, and the goal is back there. Just take a look at the net defense. All right? You'll see in the video when you're doing your own. So you got to have good timing to come back. Do you know what timing is? The way you come back. Because if you back in too quick, what do you think the shooter should do? So if you don't back up enough, what do you think the shooter should do? There you go. Let's say the shooter is right there and you have no speed and you're stuck flat putting it. What do you think you can do if you can score? Go around you. That happens a lot too. So you just worked on your backward C cups, right? So we had that little bit of a glide when we back up, right? I have to have that glide so when I'm coming, I'm just gliding. Now, sometimes he might change his speed. I might have to change my speed. So I'm going slow, and I might have to pick it up a little bit. See how I did that? Or, sometimes coming in, I'm coming in, and I gotta I got stop myself just a little bit, and then just pick it back up. So you gotta match his speed. How do you get good at this? Matching the time. Practice. I can sit here all day and tell you, Bennett, you're backing in too quick. Bennett, you're going on. You gotta feel that. Practice that, which we'll do. Okay? Does that make sense? Now, time is a key word. To do that, I always make sure I'm out of set before it comes at me. I told you that, right? That is the most important thing. You have to get out and get set early before that guy comes at you. You understand that? Second three word of breakaway. What do you think it is? You know what? Okay, kind of patient. You can't fall for the, the, the front, the first bait. How many times a, a guy comes in and just goes and keeps the player and goes rolling? You gotta realize that most of the time you're gonna make different moves. So you gotta wait them out. You have the advantage. You have to be patient. Let them make the move. Out, back, glide. Now, whatever he's doing, I'm waiting until he makes his final move. He's just said it done. But you gotta work on that. The only time I made the first move, he was going really slow and I poke checked him, things like that. 
But in general, you have to wait them out. So timing and patience. Now we gotta practice this. So no matter what, you can control this. You can get out and get set early and have that awareness. Like in the game, you're talking about screens and tips. Getting out and getting set early and finding fucking knowing where everyone's at. The quicker I'm out and set, listen to me, I'm so passionate about this. The quicker you're out and set, the easier it is to start evaluating the play. But if you're sitting there not thinking and just in the last second coming out, okay, oh, I'm just gonna stop trying. Once that play hits the red line, I'm evaluating everyone on the ice. That's why video is helpful. Evaluating all, everything that's on the ice. Right? But after that, after that, I'm set. I know what's, what's going on. These guys are moving too. So on a breakaway, it's so important to get out, get set early, and then you get that timing coming back. So patience and patience and timing. One second, I'm just video. Alright. So any questions? We're gonna practice it. We'll video it. And you'll hear me talking each one you make this where I think you could have done something differently. Okay? Alright, let's get a warm-up. Let's focus on our little blocker, all the add stuff, and then we'll get at it. What's up, Bakes?